Here's a video of a boy walking back and forth on a surfboard on calm water. It's a great example of the law of conservation of momentum and of the motion of the center of mass of a system. But by itself, there's not much we can do other than observe the motion of the boy and the motion of the board. But a ruler and a frame counter overlaid on the video allow us to make measurements of position and time. Students can use these measurements to make calculations about the motion. This is an example of what we call a direct measurement physics video. Here's another example, a low friction puck sliding across the lab floor, filmed by a camera on the ceiling. The grid and frame counter allow students to calculate the X direction velocity and the Y direction velocity. Students add those two velocity components to find the direction that the puck is traveling. They compare their calculated angle with the angle at which the puck passes over the protractor. Here's another example. A cart rolls down a ramp, compresses a spring, and stops for a moment before rebounding. Students can make measurements to compare the potential energy that the cart had at the top of the ramp with the energy stored in the spring when the cart's at the low point. From there, for example, they could calculate the force constant of the spring. In this video, a rocket motor causes a disc to spin. Students can calculate the force produced by the rocket. In this clip, a dart collides with a stationary cart. Students can compare the momentum of the dart to the momentum of the cart and dart after the collision. Here, a peanut M&M candy is fired into a block of foam attached to a cart. Students can use the momentum of the cart to figure out what the velocity of the peanut M&M must have been. A carbon dioxide fire extinguisher propels a cart forward. Students can measure the acceleration of the cart and determine the thrust produced by the rocket motor. Students compare the acceleration of a cart on a ramp to the theoretical acceleration to see if they match. An iPod suspended from strings begins to spin. Students use the conservation of angular momentum to figure out the mass of the spinning hard drive inside. A dart is fired into a wooden stick, causing it to rotate. The angular momentum of the dart can be compared to the angular momentum of the stick and dart after the collision. Students calculate the rotational inertia of a bike wheel by watching it swing as a pendulum and by watching it accelerated by a falling weight 